Hello, welcome back. Even though I only verticut this a week last Monday, due to my success with this at my last video, I'm gonna give it a go here today because I wanna get this fed because it's just tipping over the edge of hungriness. So I wanna get that done, but beforehand, I just thought it'd be interesting to see how much we can get out of the scary fine attachment. So I've already set it up, it's good to go. Let's crack on. Now I just wanted to show you something that I've just noticed. I'm on one, but I don't know if it's, it's a, I mean, it's not an old machine, it's only a year old, but there's just a little bit of play in that roller. And what happens is if you put that on S, for example, and then you put it on the grass, that roller sinks a bit more. So you've got to take that into account. So I've just dialed that back a little bit. So when I fall, I'm not quite on S. So let's see how we're going with that. I've uh, just done a few adjustments already, but we'll see how we get on with that. And then hopefully we'll be able to carry on. But got a few problematic areas, which sour things, but it's just dry. I've just noticed my uh, Brillo pad effect there. So it desperately needs water. We've not had any rain now for getting on for three weeks. So even though I've watered this a little bit, it is just looking a little bit sorry for itself. So it's good timing that we're doing this, get the feed on, sprinkle on, and then we'll be away. Right, so we've just done one pass and we've got all this out and we've still got a lawn so i'm really keen to explore this avenue of this uh device because it just doesn't do any damage but yeah it does a lot of good so i want to try and get into a position where we can like not be fungi side free but we can try and improve things and i think by keep doing this if the weather allows definitely uh going into the autumn we're going to be in a much better place for sure over there, I've got a video coming, so don't worry about that. That's been a disaster, but we can solve disasters. And I'm gonna show you how with that one. It's already underway, that one, but I had to break off last week because I didn't have access to water. So I'm gonna do that Monday for you. But if we're concentrating on this one at the minute, that looks good. Let's get it cut with the cylinder. So just swap the attachment over very quickly. Get it cut, fed, watered, and this one is the richer relation of that one at the moment but i hope in a couple of weeks to get that one as good as this one definitely so join me in a sec right i've just quickly put the cylinder cassette back in in place of the scarifying attachment just a quick reminder you must turn the dial back up to where you want it to be because we're so low if you forgot and then went on and forget then you're going to be looking at a disaster zone so Let's uh, do that now while we're on camera. I want to get that back up to four to start with, and then I'll just uh, go down. Because I don't know what these correlate to in terms of height of cut, I just go right up to the top, keep cutting for a little bit until I get the cut where I want it. And uh, just another tip, just tilt the machine back, just to, because it's the roller that moves on this, the front roller. So if you have that on the floor, then you're obviously lifting the weight of the mower as well. So just pit, tilt it back. And we're good to go, right? Let's get on with it. Right, I'm really pleased with how that looks. If you notice me bending down and just getting somewhere, it was this. This little piece of annual meadow grass, bit of these knocking about, but you can see already, if I can just get it in zoom. Uh, it's not gonna happen. Maybe if somebody said if I put it in my hand, it'll zoom in better. Oh, there you go. So you see it's already started seeding. Now, if I hadn't have done the, ver uh, the scarifying then, it wouldn't have flicked that seed head up. That was growing along the floor. So that would have just happily grown on the floor, dropped all the seeds, and then them seeds would have grown. So we've done well seeing that, getting out. There's a few of those knocking about, so I got a few out then. But you just got to keep going, look for those seed heads, and you will get there eventually. But you've got to get it early before the, the before those seeds drop. You see, I've got this one out just in time, hopefully. Uh, so we shouldn't have any more problems in that area. But there is more to come out, I'm sure. But on the whole, I think you'll agree, 
it looks pretty good. Let's get it fed. I've got my feed, I've got my lawn, I've got my spreader, I've got me. So let's put it on. Right, so we've got the feed on. We're gonna get some water on now. Amber, are you putting me off? <laughs> right. right, so we've got the feed on. We've got the... Amber, stop it, because we're gonna be here all day. Right, so we just put the feed on. We're gonna get some water on. Hope you've enjoyed this video and learned a bit more about this scarifying attachment. I'm learning more about it all the time and what it can do on here. Even though it's only eight weeks old or te uh, 10 weeks old, it's still done a job and not done any damage whatsoever. So I'm really, really impressed with this one. Is this my new best friend? You know, the vertical has just gone out the window, hasn't it? And uh, I'm so, I'm so, uh, what they call it, it's all fickle and uh, flaky, I guess. Uh, all these attachments are like, well, he said he was my best friend last week. Well, sorry guys, but this one's my new best friend now. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next job. See you soon. Oh, and there is just one more thing. Just start to show you close up. You know, I love my close ups. So, there's hardly any of uh, the necrotic growth in there. There's still a little bit, you know, like that there. And necrotic growth is where it's rotting, but it's still attached to the plant. You know, like if you had gangrene and your arm was rotting off. You'd have a rotting arm, but you, it would still be attached to your body. And that's the same thing. So we get that out just so it doesn't cause any damage to the plant going forward. And yeah, this one is now a wrap.